Uh, good afternoon guys, it's a 5.20 p.m. Today is July 26. Today is FOMC day and chair for Fed for Wells chair conference. So that's why we are neutral today going into the day. This is a running statement. Now this week is all about earnings and FOMC. Price will go somewhere today but the question is whether it is going to hold it there or the next day or not, right? But price did not go anywhere by the way. So we are keeping neutral bias for the day trading equal to we are going to ignore all the price action from the overnight and keeps the neutral mindset going, mindset going into the day and we will follow the price okay and Q these are the labels still important for ES and NQ follow the lines line to line trading preferred and backup buyers here are important that's it not much note wise right uh, and then hold on yeah dream number 671 658 okay so overall neutral mindset okay now overall we know it's a downward trending price action till that point right so here is a preferred sellers area aggressive preferred okay Okay, so, okay, so let me 4 p.m. close and let me move all the notes here, right? So, notes were okay, so this is yesterday's 4 p.m. close, okay that was a FOMC spike at 2 p.m. right this was a preferred bias area it's a 555 line okay so is it there yeah 555 line right so that's the key line it's a blue line it's the most powerful lines in you know, along among all the lines okay so now neutral mindset right so we know it's a downward trending Correct. So we have to still keep that in mind, but that doesn't mean we have to short. We can are open for longs also. Okay. So right of the open, so it gap down, right? So like 15 points gap down. The AD is supposed to be way negative, but AD was minus 400 only, right? That was not suggesting any down move. I would say, you know, like good down move that is the first reading right so we have to just stay stay still okay we need to observe 87 85 and 90 this level see this is the key level we need to observe right so here you can see right of the open you know first candle up touch 90 came down and we were observing that now it needs to hold below 87 all this thing you know i was like giving a commentary and price was not doing anything it was not going down right so meanwhile nq nq if you look at it it slides through this 610 yesterday's level and yesterday's low both so nq you can short you know, by looking at this but it that short has to come close to this 610 you know because at that time you don't know he has got the rejection from 90 so 90 as I said in discord that watch 90 so that's why 90 and this you can line up and short in NQ and hope that ES will go through this 85 you know 85 was the area ES defended yesterday entire day pretty much you know so but then NQ went lower below yesterday's low while e in and ES couldn't go lower right so now if you are in to this short trade you have to take a profit here or skill at least you know get some profit out of it because so then you see because of ES NQ bounced just because of ES couldn't go lower you know and that has been story from last three four days you know, ES couldn't go lower and NQ bounces 
So, this is a failed breakdown of 587. See, I was almost sure that price will come and hit this preferred buyers area, right? But now it came close to it and then it could not do it, right? So, now it left a trail here like a pending area like this, you know, like this. Right? So, I am drawing this line right now just for your understanding purpose. So, then it bounced, right? And then ideally it should have held this 610 right here okay so that is what I said it should hold 610 if these sellers are strong right but at that time if you look at it it was 945 so and if you look at yes was right here about to break out actually right here you know so then I said it's a do or die in both of them 1992 if it breaks above it is going to rocket high to fill the gap if it gets rejection and NQ could not go higher right then it is a failed breakout situation. So, both has to break out. So, basically NQ has to break out not only 610, but the high was 640 or so right. So, if NQ breaks out or ES breaks out above 90 or 92 both has to break out otherwise you can see a failed breakout also you know. So, here ES tried it touched the 92 which is this area and got rejection close lower right. See due to this move now 85 and 87 both areas are important for buyers in ES just because it bounced from it and went through it you know. So, now the tricky question is if it pull back 85, 87 can act as a support. Okay. So, now it is a muddy little bit right. So, in that case NQ 610 can act as a support right. So, you can play a long here, but you have to watch it when ES touch it here you have to take a long here. See ES you cannot play because technically it is still in the garbage range. See this is this entire range is a garbage range you know I classified this range as a garbage range. So, ES it is hard you know to justify the long here and hoping it will go through it until it goes through it you know. So, a but NQ you can do a small swings you know. So, NQ there was a long here right which I did not show you here then it went higher ES also went higher and then at 90 see here this 90 same 90 it got rejection right. So, here if you are in NQ long you will out ok. Then so, this is what I did here so, so then after this I actually shorted right here you know right here you know because it went below this 87 here and then price went down into my favor I tried it basically it is called fishing you know I was fishing then but my top stop was tight you know. So, I think 88 something 8825 or something I shorted it my stop was 8925 one point and then it did not work it worked but then it bounced back up right stop me out fine. Then it was chopping around. Then I said, you know what, ES is not letting go 87. I do not want to trade anymore now. I will wait till FOMC. Then I was waiting, 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 and price was chopping around here, 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 here. Then finally, again, see, I will, if you are watching this damn thing, you can see here. See here how choppy it is, right? So, see here, I short, tried to short it, stop me out, right? One point loss. That damn thing went down. Then I did not touch it. Then again it came back I did not touch the short right. And then it went up. So, now I th I was thinking now it will go through it right. But then damn thing did not go anywhere again came down again this it came down all the way up to here and then it created this tail. So, this one I was observing it very closely. Now I was thinking that this time it should definitely skyrocket because of this tail right. So, that was around like 6 minute before 10 30 you know NQ also did the same thing it came down and then close above 6 10 right. At this point I was monitoring both of them. So, if you look at it here see sometimes you just have to observe the price you know like 10 24 see this is the tail right. Now, it should go through it ok that is the idea and and once it goes through it you know I can take a long to fill the gap basically. So, here it went up, but it could not go lower see that there is a tail small tail here 
it closed right here right so here i said watch 87 right here or 88 you know so the moment it went here and closed lower like like here and the next candle open here right and then it went down like this right halfway through the tail or even goes through it right like more than half see this is the sign whoever bought it here they got trapped now you know they couldn't push the price higher okay so now i said i'm going to take a short which is right here i took it 87 was my short in this code i already typed it and i already told them and then 87.75 three tick stop loss i put it right here you know and you can see it here this is 87 this is 87.75 see price didn't go higher after that right so three tick stops and then i wrote it all the way down up to 81 with three tick stop you know and it's almost nine point with three tick stops right those so 36 ticks with nine point stop uh, sorry three tick stop 36 point profit 36 tick profit so 1 to 12 risk reward you know uh, because so now so when es nq uh, sorry this five minute candle touched here right and it closed right here so i bailed out see ideally it should have like closed lower you know but because of fomc you know it didn't go lower so i bailed out right there at 81.50 right at the close of this candle five minute candle okay nq at the same time there was a trade in nq also which i took it you know right here 610 see that 610 touch come down 605 right here i shorted it both together you know stop above this and then nq went down right it even went down to below 585 so this is a preferred buyers area this one okay that's where i start started saying observe 564 that's the intraday level which is 565 here what it was actually it was 564 which is right here okay so i took the profit here for nq because i don't want to you know go against the 555 right so i took a profit here yes i took profit at 81 okay then i was thinking okay so now it's here it should easily go to this area okay so but anyway i was not holding anything in neither one of them right so if it goes there i may look for long somewhere around here if there is a setup okay otherwise nothing then now the responsibility is sellers have to hold 564 or 555 right here which they did actually look at this see that right now it was 1125 so if you look at es right it was all the way up to here right which is morning chop area right there you know, morning this tail low see now people flipped it here and basically here right the same buyers flipped it here right in both instances right so now you know this area is important okay so and so does nq then what happened ideally they should hold it the sellers have legit then they should hold it the moment it goes above it this area can act as a support now simple you know rotations so there was a long setup right here okay right here 555 right but now since see on the way down i said 564 needs to hold or 555 so price went through 564 so i went along at 555 and then at here you know right here it went above 564 so now i'm observing it very tightly the moment i see this i am out okay it's a lunch time so at the same time if you look at it 1235 es was right here see still around 87 it couldn't go higher after it see 85 87 this and this are very important now you know and so does 90 92 so here it went to 1992 again right but it couldn't go higher but instead it got rejection came down so now because it went higher 87 will become support right and 85 also 
so it should it should hold 87 similar to 564 right so the long was here right here now the expectation it it should go through 87 but it couldn't right and the, this thing also couldn't went above 564 but couldn't hold it so bail out okay now you are running into lunch time correct so since 555 is very important right so that is what i said in discord that observe during FOMC a rotation around a key level which is 555, 564, 610 you know and rotation will give you a trade after a pause you know like a thrust and pause something like that during FOMC around these levels ok. So, now we are waiting for FOMC and I till then I observe this price action right during the lunch time. Then you can see it here at 2 o'clock price open right at uh, 565. See that was the key thing right. It is a very important point to note down here. It opened right around this 555 preferred buyers area ok. Till then it rotated around it ok. Then what happened and this was a top right which is 564 see. So, that level I gave it here way before now you can see this 564 was holding so does 555 price was poking but could not go lower right. Then during FOMC you know you can see price open here and then first thing it did was went up ok. So, we were observing it right here and then you can use this low you can use this low and observe it right. Price went through it immediately pop back up right and went came down all the way to 555 then it started going up right. So, look at yes also same thing it is open right around here 82 right came down went through this low this low. So, let me draw a line so, it is a very interesting to see all this price action ok went through 80 81. and then pop back up in right. So, now if you are zooming down to 15 second chart, 30 second chart you know or 1 minute chart right you will see all this thing coming up uh, different candles right. That is where you have to start paying attention now you know because now you have to consider this fail breakdown you know because if price goes higher about this it is it is a breakout basically it is a breakout of this and fail breakdown of these levels that means price will go higher you know. So, you can go long here right with the flow or you can wait for a pullback. So, ideal thing is to wait for a pullback and see if that back is holding. So, if you zoom down to 15 second chart you will see it went up up to this yesterday's high yesterday's low and then it came down and look at it where it closed it touched. 564 pretty much right here try to go to 585 it could not and it close right at 564. So, this is the sign this tail itself is good enough to tell us that price wants to go higher at least about this high back to 16 you know. So, here there was a long that is what I said in discord you know and then in ES same thing you know you can go long right into this area opening area right here the breakout point see here, but I did not touch ES you know to be honest I only touch MQ you know ES was garbage anyway. So, let me see if I have a screenshot so, I do not have it right now you know I did not take it anyway. So, uh, but anyway this was a long ok. So, in this code I may have it. So, hold on see here at 138 2 pm FOMC Powell then I said at 208 I said up till Powell open his mouth right. So, till 230 is up 600 good right. So, at 210 I said 600 good and, and then I said now wait right. So, and then I shared my chart right here. So, I will show you hold on. So, this is like 210 600 area this is 210 you know I said it is good that means that is it now you wait till Powell opens his mouth which is 230 this time you know. So, and then this is the trade hold on see this time stamp is 2 o'clock 
right this is between 2 to 205 right and then 210 that's the exit 600 right and these are the trades based on one minute chart but i was looking at 15 15 second also right but you can see the couple of trades here right now uh, hold on so that's the trade right then i said i basically played 555 right so basically i played this 555 here the idea was 555 holding you know? 600 out and then wait for powell to stop right so which is up to this point right 230 then powell started talking first thing we saw it what right before powell or around it we saw price going down here right this this levels right which it broke down correct and failed to hold below same thing during powell or right before it it came down right here right and then held it then again close above 555 line then here you can see it 555 touch held it and then here 555 touched it held it see that then went up again came down held it here that's where you take a long right there you know so it's like a, you are waiting for confirmation see here it closed higher but this candle closed lower right so you don't know whether it's going to go through it or not when this candle happened now you know five it wants to hold five or five so now you are looking for any down candle close to this area you know this area so now you are watching and if this thing if you're lucky and if it pulls back you go long so 564 see that's where the long happens and now you know because already this area rejected one time and now price couldn't go lower this time or this time and if price goes here most likely it will go through it the and the best idea is it will go towards target is this dream numbers today's dream number 671 658 and this is the 685 this is the target i gave you know i said 685 that is the target you know so hold on so uh, i'm just watching you know uh, okay so now here so this is the commentary around 218 you know all this thing i was writing it and then i said this so this is the chart i shared in discord i said look this box this box price needs to go out of the box in order to have a nice trade right in between the box 564 555 are important for bias to hold okay so now you know the box boundaries which was 610 and 530 or so right so now you look here this is the box it has to go out of the box right so here now you know 564 and 555 are support for buyers in the box based on this price action so here we took the long and it from 564 both are holding now the chances are it will try to go out of the box or either it will do fail breakout or proper breakout right so at that time you have to see yes what it is doing at 238 so 238 right here es was at 94 see so yes already broke out correct that's where <coughs> another trade will come in es at that time you know so es you can't do anything here but you make a note that during oval speech it came close to this low previous lows and then bounce right here also same thing see here this was the low which it fell break down from this low went higher during oval speech right here it came there and held it then go up and now this 85 see the same line try to hold it below it couldn't go higher came back same 85 held it as a support then kick off the move see same thing as this so you have to watch both in sync now this was the trade right here another trade you know at the breakout right here and now you target higher up areas right in both of them and when NQ reached 685, I said right here, I said 685, you know, that's the max. 
for NQ as of now. Yes, I said max is 4623, you know. So, but since NQ is here, you know, I said that should be good enough, you know, in this code. So, let me see. find that but anyway 685 you no know, that's where you should bail out or it's majority scale you no know, and or you watch it has to hold about dream number if couldn't here rejection you are out so if you cannot if you want to hold it hold it but here you should be out so if you are out in nq you should be out in es right here that's it now you call it a day off if you want to you know you are done you know. Then on the way down I said 615 to watch you know and ES 96. So, ES was right around here at that time 98 it could not come down to 96, but NQ did come down to 615. Now, there was a small long I took it also in a SEMA count ok. So, and then I said it has to hold above 634 that's the level I gave them yesterday to watch today. So, I said if it, it has to go above 634 and hold above it. So, once you take a trade here right see it's we say FOMC driven moves right anything can happen and now you know 685 could be a max it may go down. So, you have to monitor it the moment it went above 634 you have to start monitoring it it came down and closed lower you are out. So, that's why you see this exit here ok. Then what happened? Then it's very interesting. See if it goes below 615, 590 was a support. I gave it in Discord, you know. Yeah. And then I said if it goes below 590, it's going to go down. You know. So I'll show you if I have can find something. So, I found it. They, uh, the, here I said, you know, I wanted to see this way and exactly it was happening. So, here I am giving the level 6515 to watch, right, which is right around here. That was the trade I talked about. And then I said, remember 634 level, now it had to go through it, hold it above for buyers. This, it could not hold below, so you are out. Then I said, as long as price is holding it above 590, 580 in NQ, we know that it is the rotation point for this week equal to buyers below sellers will do the trick right. So, here so 590 is this area you know this area and here you can see it price slice through it right. At this point you know sellers have a control now they will try to go through this low probably here you know now you have to look at ES. So, ES was what time is it 1510 310 right. Yes, went to 76, which is here, right. So, at that time, so now you know, yes, I gave two levels also to observe 75 and which is this line. Ha, huh? sorry guys, I have to leave. So, uh, wife calling, but okay, so here 75 and 63, those are the two downside target for yes, I gave it, okay. So, based on it could not reach to 75 right. So, now based on this down move most likely it will go 75 or 63 that means NQ will go towards this that is the idea right because of this down move now buyers are trapped ok. So, there was a short here at 564 and 572 actually 564 right here you know because of this. So, this level is rotated level you know. So, here now you can argue that hey it went above 555 right. But now you can see this move, right? So all clearly it says sellers are dominated now at this point. So so it can go through 555, but 564 is the border line, you know. So here you can short and down target lower area, okay? So here you can also short ES, but then when it came down to 75, it should go through it nicely. But I don't want to see this pop. The moment you see this pop, like price going up to here. 75 acted as a support you know that means you should be bailing out your EENQ right here 
and then now you know 75 acted as support and if this is a valid support and if price goes through this that means again this area will act as a support and you can see it here actually see that and here 555 5, 564 that was a long right there you know if you want to take it see that today was pure rotational day you know and that's it pretty much and then price went higher 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 that's it so it's a pure rotational day about certain levels you just have to observe it see these levels are like moving levels from yesterday and today same levels played out today you know so it's a levels game you know these two days or entire week and that be all for today i'll see you tomorrow